Hi viewers, the watch I will feature today is from another brand that has not been shown on this channel before and this is Rado. This is a really beautiful watch. It is the Captain Cook with the green dial, an absolute stunner. Nice presentation, good box, comes with a Rado cleaning cloth. Nice little leather pouch for the cards and then your manual in there as well. All very smart. Okay, so let's have a look at this watch and I'll just go over the specs first. Okay, so the size specifications on this watch, the case diameter is 42 millimeters. The thickness is 12.1 millimeters. Lug to lug is 49 millimeters. And the lug width is 20 millimeters. Now I have to say, I think this is one of the most beautiful watches I've ever seen. It really is absolutely stunning. They've done it so well. The green dial is beautiful with that dark green outer edge and then it comes into a slightly brighter green in the middle. It is The dial itself is domed with the sunburst effect. Really very effective. Looks fantastic. And then you've got the ceramic bezel Again, beautifully done. Complements the dial perfectly. It does slope inwards a little bit. I was worried at first when I saw that that it would look a bit like a football stadium or something, but um, it's quite subtle when you get it in your hands and the bezel isn't as wide as it looks in pictures. Also, it doesn't feel like a 42 mil watch. It feels a little bit smaller, probably because it's so thin. It's very thin and the lug to lug is not too bad at 49 mil so it's a very compact watch and just another stunning vintage reissue this uh, is a reissue of a watch that Rado launched in 1962 and obviously it uh, shared the name Captain Cook as well on that original one and didn't look too different to this really but it really is absolutely stunning and I think the beads of rice bracelet is a perfect match for this dial. Just adds to that vintage feel. The whole package is very well thought out. I think they've really nailed it with this one. The design is quite fabulous really. I even like the way they've done the date with the red paint instead of a black print. Just really uh, again adds to that sort of vintage flair. The clasp of the bracelet again really well done. It's very unique with that ribbed pattern etched into it and then the logo embossed over the top. Just gives that feeling of vintage luxury. Love it. Really do love that clasp and it's very thin. It doesn't have micro adjustments but it's not really a problem with the beads of rice bracelet because they're the links are small and you can get a good fit. The links are held together with the pin and collar method. And this watch does have a water resistance rating of 200 meters. And the movement that powers this is based on the ETA C07.6 double one. But it has been heavily modified by Rado. It has an 80 hour power reserve and very reliable, very accurate. So let's check out that bezel action. It is 120 clicks and very, very good. Solid movement, positive clicks, no play at all. Lines up perfectly. Very nice bezel. The crown is signed and it is a screw down crown. Super slick action. Always a nice test of the quality of a watch. Great pop. And very slick movement. Date chains equally slick. Really nice action. I just love that dial. I think this 
is a really good color the green one it does come obviously in other colors like the blue and gray and a black the black one looks really smart as well but this green looks so special as you can see you've got the Rado anchor emblem there just under the 12 o'clock and as you might have seen in other videos that does move it is attached to part of the movement inside and according to Rado it is actually quite a useful service indicator because if that stops moving it just means the movements need lubricating and the whole thing probably needs a service so that's quite a clever little feature actually as well as a cool design touch and just gives an extra bit of colour on that dial really nice very well done the markers are not actually applied they're printed with a decent amount of loom and the handset is really very good you've got a broad arrow hand for the hours and then the sword hand on the minutes and that arrow tip on the second hand very legible excellent okay the case the entire case is actually polished there are no brushed areas really on the case at all which I don't know it's a bit disappointing it would have been nice to maybe brush the top of the lug or something just have that contrast but it is nevertheless very well done flawless really the bracelet does have brush surfaces on the outer links and the center rice grains are polished the case back really smart you've got the seahorse pattern there now apparently according to Rado the three seahorses indicate a screw down case back so I suppose a one horse would be a snap on case back I don't know if I've seen a Rado dive watch with a snap on case back anyway that's what somebody from Rado had mentioned on the video but it's a really nice bit of embossing I just can't stop looking at that stunning dial it really as I say it's one of the most beautiful looking watches I've ever had actually really and that's saying something there's a lot of competition out there but I'm sure you'll agree this really is a good looking piece okay I'll just show you what that looks like on the wrist now that bracelet fits so well very comfortable lightweight love that clasp the domed sapphire there look at that really lovely feature looks great I think it's a perfect size actually if it was any smaller the dial probably wouldn't look so striking so I think uh, 42 millimeters is just about right and the lugs curve down nicely so it does hug the wrist well yeah just a stunning watch excellent okay I'll just show you the loom now see how that looks in the dark it is very bright actually not bad at all that lasts a long time quite quite a good loom it's not the best loom in the world but it is certainly adequate and uh, bright enough for what you need not bad at all actually right so before I wrap up I'll just zoom in on that dial let's show that off in a bit more detail beautiful absolutely beautiful I love the tip on the second hand looks really good see the printing is absolutely flawless so crisp and sharp and the hands very well polished like a mirror finish and just look at that dial just amazing here you can get a good idea of that box domed sapphire glass there the bezel the ceramic bezel you can see the markers are actually etched into the bezel they're not just printed on now that dial it's one of those colors that changes with the light it can be quite a bright green and then a very dark green and then almost black 
and I love the coin edge bezel very effective looks great and there you can see the crown is nicely signed with that anchor very attractive design on the case back okay well that's just about it for this review of the Rado Captain Cook 42mm with that beautiful green dial I'm sure you'll agree this really is a stunning timepiece and I hope you enjoyed looking at it thank you so much for watching see you next time